Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Designs and Software Technologies and in this GeoTools video I am going to introduce to you our first geological and mining tools which is called Import Borehole Data. Using this tool you can import borehole data which is in CSV format which are separated by commas. In my case I have the data in a file called borehole drill data dot CSV so I am going to choose this and this is how my file looks. There are seven columns. The first is the borehole number followed by easting, then northing, and then you have the z value, and then 45 is the angle with horizon, which is the dip, then 65 is the direction of borehole progression with respect to north, which is the strike angle, and the last value is the drilled length. So you must know exactly in which order your data is structured. It can be in any order but you must specify it correctly in your program. So you can see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fields here and let us specify the order now. So the first test we are doing is without creating a block so I am going to switch this option off and here you have to enter the values correctly. Borehole data positions in the ASCII file. So the name is in column number 1, easting column number 2, northing column number 3, z value is 4. The azimuth or the strike was the 6th column and the dip was the 5th column and the drilled length is 7th column. So this step is extremely important because if you enter the wrong positions here it is going to pick up the wrong values from the file. You can also enter the diameter of the borehole and the thickness and such things. That makes sense only if you are doing it in 3D. So we will do it later. For now let us do a simple borehole representation as lines and points. So I say OK. And zoom extends. So you can see it has created the boreholes as well as the points. So if I change the point style you can see that the point represents the top position of the borehole and this line represents the actual drilled direction. So let us change the direction of view. So I hope you get an idea now as where the top of the borehole is and the drilled positions are. So let's go back to plan view and to get a better visualization I am going to now connect all these with the triangulated face so I am just going to quickly run the tin command from the civil tools and I am going to select all the points so it has connected all of them with the uh, 3D faces and if you now change the view style to realistic so you get an even better visualization of where your boreholes are and where the drill directions are so this is one simple workflow by which I have created just a simple borehole without any blocks without any attributes and so on so let's delete all of this and restart once again so I go back to import borehole data and this time I'm going to select this option create borehole as a block and I'm going to choose the ready-made block borehole block this comes predefined with GeoTools so you have it all the time all these stay because these are very important the positions of X Y Z azimuth dip and so on but the additional thing that I need to specify are the mapping of the attributes. So where are the attributes going to be mapped? So for name I'm going to choose name as the attribute. For easting I'm going to choose X as the attribute. For northing it's Y. For Z it's Z. For azimuth or strike it's this one. For the dip angle it's dip and for depth of hole it's depth. So 
this is where you map the attributes again you have to be careful to map it correctly because then you're going to get the wrong set of data you can see that there are more uh, options to map the attributes here and it says mapping of remaining attributes why this is provided is because let us say you have additional uh, information about your boreholes like your quality of the ore or the year in which it was drilled and so on so you can specify all those additional attributes by choosing the attribute number here and then choosing the respective you know attribute for this one as well so in my case i don't have any more attributes i'm just going to leave all of this blank you can put them in a different layer if you like so i'm going to just say borehole data as a layer you can also create the boreholes in 3d so let us select that option to see how it looks in 3d so you can see it's drawing the boreholes in 3d as well as it's uh, adding the blocks with the attributes so this takes a little while sometimes but it should do it at the end okay so it's done so we just do a zoom extent so once again i change the view so you can see now uh, let's go back to plan view you can see the boreholes have been inserted as a block and you can see the attributes as well and the boreholes have been drawn in 3d so you can see the actual 3d tube as well if you don't like to see the attributes i can quickly use the at disp off command and switch off the attributes so let's go back to visual styles realistic and i'm going to put the tin display on as well so that's more realistic now uh, if you want to create some you know presentation drawings and all that so you have the bore boreholes in 3d you have the terrain created as tin and you also have all the attributes of the boreholes so you can do further processing as you like so this is only the beginning uh, we intend to grow this command and add a lot of uh, new things so i really appreciate if you can give me your feedback get in touch with me let us know what more you want and we'll be glad to assist you and add them into our commands in fact we already have uh, many other things planned and i'm going to show that in another video for example you can add a strata definition file and you can define your strata presentation parameters and you can show the cross section of the boreholes and so on so all that in another video but for now i hope you enjoyed this video thank you